welcome to the BISP solutions. So our today's scenario is we have to load the metadata in FCCS through import export mode. Okay, let us see how to do that. This metadata we have to import there. Okay, so this is our metadata. This is this will come under cash and cash equivalents under the current assets. So our account is cash and cash equivalent and our parent is current asset. Okay, so I have taken as a 12,000 will come as an account name. Okay, and its alias is cash account. Okay, under cash account, we have uh, many heads like cash in hand, cash at bank, impressed cash, cash collection, cash movement, cash MMF. Okay, so these all I have to uh, upload, these metadata I have to upload through import export mode. Okay, let us see how to do that and where it will come. This is under dimension. If we check under current asset, this is our current asset. And if we, if we drill down this current asset, we have the cash and cash equivalents. Under cash and cash equivalent, these many heads are coming, these many members are there, okay, uh, which can be read as 11,101 up to 11,502. And I want to import this my metadata below this, okay, means 12,000 should come under cash and cash equivalents. I want, okay, means a shared member should come here. So, I want to add the child under cash and cash equivalents. So how to do that? We have to follow the process. Just click on home, pa home page, click on application tab and under application, you can see the overview tab, click on overview. This page will get opened up under application on the left hand side. You can see there are four tabs overview, cubes, dimensions and activity reports. So under a dimension tab, Click on dimension tab. You can see many account movement period under account. I want to import this. So select this account. Okay. It has already been selected. Click on uh, the action tab, which you can see on the uh, top side, right hand top side. Click on action tab. At the last option, you can see inbox, inbox and outbox explorer. Click on inbox and outbox explorer. Here you have to upload your file. So click on upload. Choose the file where you have saved. Your file should be in the CSV format. Okay, so click on upload file. This message will pop up file upload completed successfully. Click on OK and close. Afterwards, once you have uploaded your file, you have to import the file. Okay, import the metadata. Sorry. So this page will open up if you click on the import import metadata click on create you have to create the metadata you have two option on with um, you have two option to select your location that is local and inbox i am selecting inbox as my location you have to give the import file name okay here in account so this is my import file i'll write dot csv because the format should be in csv and my file is in csv format click on save as job here you have to give the job name and error file name okay so CS file name upload, you can give any job name. And give the error file name and click on save. The job has been saved. Click on OK and close. You can uh, click on refresh and see the job name which I have created. I have created this job. OK, so it is reflecting here. Okay, afterwards you have to schedule your jobs, click on jobs and click on schedule jobs. This page will pop up. Okay, on the left hand side, you can see there is what type of job is this. So I want to import the metadata. I'll select import metadata. When do you want to run this job? We have two options. You can click on run now. Okay, it will automatically be run or you can schedule your job. I am scheduling my job like after two minutes i'm scheduling give the name of the file dot csv it is asking the recurrence pattern so i am selecting just run once click on next you have to select your job name which you have created i have created this after that click on next this summary page will open up here you can see my uh, file name my job type like I have to import the metadata what is my job name which I have created I have uh, scheduled runtime uh, in what frequency you want the repetition okay I have uh, selected uh, occurs only once okay click on finish 
on the left hand side you can see this is the pending job it is running click on refresh if the job is successfully completed it will automatically be uh, you can see under the recent activity as a green tick sign that means it is completed it will take some time just wait for it to complete the job click on refresh so that it can be completed fastly once it is completed you can see this pending job under the recent activity as a green tick sign you can see here for the other jobs also if it is shown and if it has some error it will be reflected as a cross sign that it has some error and then you can check the log and correct your errors that where it has uh, shown the error now it is processing here you can see click on refresh again completed okay that means our import metadata process has been completed successfully now you can just see check there click on navigator click on the dimensions and the create and manage you can go under the balance sheet and the drill down options under total assets under current assets in cash and cash equivalents i have created c12000 my cash account it has already been now imported under cash account these are my members which i have imported so this is the process how you import the metadata load the metadata in fccs through import export format okay so if you have any doubt feel free to ask thanks for watching thank you